are you brushing your teeth the correct way? This morning we have Louise Goodman showing us how to brush properly with a manual toothbrush because Louise, you told me just now, just a few minutes ago, that we might all be doing it wrong. Exactly. Okay, why is that? The problem is a lot of people don't think about it. You just get your toothbrush out, you put your toothpaste on, and yeah. you start brushing. If you do anything incorrectly, you're not gonna get the right results. Yeah. And the main thing with brushing is I always say teeth are like dishes. All day long you're eating mm -hmm. and you have leftover food on your teeth, just like you have leftover food on your plate. Mm -hmm. If you don't brush it correctly, you, all you're going to do is smear it around. Gotcha. Today it's called plaque. It's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. But when you go to bed at night, if you don't brush, it hardens into tartar. Mm -hmm. And as you get older, you have tartar. So when you wake up in the morning, if you have it brushed in the evening, you wake up with your eggs and your peanut butter and jelly, your Skyline chili, and everything on there. And this is why you go to the dentist twice a year. Yeah. You have this scraped off. Mm -hmm. In kids, this is going to cause cavities. In adults, it's going to cause gum disease. Oh. And of course, you're going to get bad breath. Mm. So I always say to people, it would be wonderful if everybody would brush three times a day. Yeah. But that's not really a reality. But if you brush twice a day, but the main time has to be bedtime. Uh, if you leave this plate on the table all night and you go to put your eggs and bacon on it in the morning, you're eating off of a dirty plate. Uh, and that's what you're doing. I like the analogy. <laughs> I like that's the analogy. what you're doing at night. You're allowing this to harden. Okay, so show us the proper way. How do, how do we do this correctly? Okay, like I said before, plaque is soft. Okay. okay. So you can move it around. It hasn't hardened. Most people, if they brush back and forth, up and down, mm, yeah. or all around, they've done nothing more than take the plaque and pushed it somewhere else in their mouth. They haven't taken it off the teeth, okay. they've just smeared it around, sort of like finger painting. Okay. Okay, so what you wanna do, the main thing is you have to remember, there's a space between your tooth and gum, like there's a space between your finger and your fingernail. And you first, and that's at the gum line, you first have to clean under there. Okay. You have to clean under there. Okay, so what you do, is, it's called a wiggle and a roll, and you put your toothbrush up here, and you're only gonna concentrate on two teeth at a time. Okay. And you're gonna give it a little wiggle, and that's gonna loosen what's <laughs> under the gum, and then you're gonna roll it down. So with a real toothbrush, instead of a great big giant one, it's uh -huh. gonna be a wiggle and a roll, and a wiggle and a roll. Okay, so that's a new technique for me. It is, it's a new yeah. technique for a lot of people, but once you get it, it's very easy. Okay. Of course it's easy to do this. Yes. And it's easy to Because you don't, you mindlessly do it, like you exactly. said, you're not thinking about it. And then you put some water in your mouth and you spit it out and you think you're done. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you do it that way, a toothbrush was never designed to do eight to 16 teeth at one time. Okay. Two teeth at a time. So you want to do a wiggle and roll, you want to do two teeth at a time, and yeah. after that, do it five times and move on to the next two. It's going to take you all of three minutes. Okay. And I can guarantee you if you spend a correct three minutes at night instead of one minute at night and two minutes in the morning, you'll have a healthier mouth. Okay. Okay. So that's number one. So you the other thing is the biggest necessity is you know, it right. comes from all of the advertisements. We put toothpaste all right. across the head of the toothbrush. Mm -hmm. That's like throwing two cups of tiger in the washing machine. All the suds. You're not getting cleaning because oh. the educator can't work. All you need is a pee. And that's enough to do your whole mouth. Any more than a pee is actually, you get a lot of spitting, but you don't have the bristles that are actually touching and sweeping off the plaque. Now you can remove plaque at night, remember that. If you don't remove it at night, then it's tartar. And you can't remove this just with a brush. All right, well, unfortunately we ran out of time, but you taught me something. My mom and dad